Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching some Joey Porter Jr. film. Uh, really nice job on Monday Night Football against the Cleveland Browns, albeit in limited action. But just wanted to kind of break down a couple clips just to show you guys some examples of, you know, what he did well and how I think he's kind of quietly earning himself uh, some more playing time in the near future. So just before we get started, uh, please make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment. All that stuff's greatly appreciated. And let's get it started. So Joey Porter Jr. only played about a dozen or so snaps uh, against the Browns on Monday night, which is uh, all of those have came on the left side of the field in their dime package. And just some housekeeping kind of notes here. You'll see Porter Jr. at the top of the screen as a left cornerback. KZ's at free safety. Levi Wallace on the other side of the field. And the dime looks, they've been rotating uh, Minka Fitzpatrick. Occasionally in the slot, Patrick Peterson's been in the slot, and then uh, Keanu Neal kind of has a strong safety or downbacker um, on these reps. But this is a rep from early in the game. You know, as soon as Porter came into the game, Deshaun Watson took a kind of took a shot at him, see what he was about, and you know he rose to the challenge. Um, just to kind of go over this rep, this is just cover three from the Steelers. Um, you're just getting spot drops here from uh, the underneath defenders. He is playing kind of an off coverage uh, side saddle position or what a lot of people will call is a, kind of a bail technique with his back to the sideline. So once he gets into his crossover run, you know, he's he has to make sure that he's staying on top of the receiver that's working vertically. The number one receiver, which is Elijah Moore in this case. One thing that I like that Porter's doing is, you know, he's got vision on the quarterback through the receiver but he's also doing a good job keeping that front shoulder the low shoulder uh down and what what this does is it helps his transition um on this outbreaker but again vision on the quarterback you can see as soon as he keys watson uh his hands separate from the ball you see his feet start to look at this uh outbreaker porter does a really good job planning that foot and then exploding out of that break and then from there it's just driving on the football right and one of the things that was you know talked about a lot with porter jr throughout the draft process was his length and what it does at impress coverage but i also think he has a little bit of uh, what i call like recovery length we talk about recovery speed for corners um you know but porter jr really has some recovery length to be kind of a nuisance in these throwing windows and i'd probably argue that this ball needs to be a little bit on the outside from Watson, but this is really good coverage. A good job getting that um, that low hand um, in for the pass breakup to get the Steelers off of the field on third down. So really impressive rep there. Uh, I have a couple others that I wanted to go through, just kind of break down some things that I like to see. Um, you know, through the first two weeks, we've talked about on the channel the Steelers have had some communication errors um, on the back end. You can see here <clears throat> they're getting a, a four strong look to the right side of the field. These four strong looks are like making a comeback this year uh, in NFL offenses. I feel like I've seen it a lot more, um, but you can see there's a little bit of uh, confusion on what's what the coverage needs to be. You have the safety kind of screaming downhill. This is Demonte KZ uh, coming down. He's making some type of check. They're worried that they don't have enough players on that side of the field. Patrick Peterson looks like he's walling off the middle of the field. I'm not really exactly sure what this coverage is supposed to be. Um, it looks like it might be a version of Tampa. It may be quarters cover six some type of split field look um, but one thing that I really appreciate this is in the two minute is um, you know Porter Jr. originally you know he sees this back kind of leaking out to the flat but one thing that I like that he does is just maintaining vision and this is a good job collecting uh, receivers coming into uh, his zone or side of the field so they're kind of running like a flood concept you got the clear out from the receiver right there. And then you got the sale coming towards the sideline and then the underneath uh, defenders. I like this because I don't know exactly what the coverage is. I'm not sure that he does, or obviously the defense is a little bit confused right here. Um, but I just like having the presence of mind, like, okay, if, if they get this five yard dump off underneath in the two minute drill or whatever, it's not that big of a deal, but I do need to make sure that I'm getting enough depth in my drop to take away this sale concept, um, especially on third down. And we talk a lot about on, on this channel about cornerback play. And, you know, when you're in zone coverage, this five yard area after the line of scrimmage, that's the no cover zone in the NFL, especially on third down when you get third and long. Um, but I just think this, this shows good spatial awareness by Porter um, and a nice job taking that rep away. Um, you know, if, if you've, 
watch the channel, you know, you, you follow the Steelers and all, you know that the Steelers drafted Joey Porter Jr. to play him at press. I mean, all this stuff that they're doing, you know, kind of in off coverage and stuff, like that's great. But the, the, what they really drafted him to do is play in press coverage. You know, he's got unbelievable length, uh, incredibly long arms. You know, he's a bigger guy. This is what he did a lot at Penn State. And this is, you know, the reason they really brought him here to Pittsburgh. So um, I thought there were a couple uh, really encouraging reps. This one right here, uh, line at the bottom of the screen. You know, kind of gets an inside release. One thing I like about Porter a lot here on this one is, you know, he gets that proactive step. And then a, a, as soon as he, um, you know, closes that space, he's going to get two hands on the receiver. You know, establish contact with the receiver, kind of funnel him inside. Another thing about this rep is this is a cover one robber. So you got Mika Fitzpatrick rolling down into the middle of the field. You've got Devontae KZ rolling back to the center fielder role. Um, so he has help inside. So it's good that he is playing outside leverage. Um, and that's a really big part of playing cornerback. I think the footwork could probably be a little bit tighter here. He needs to get this inside foot down quicker. That's really just something that he's still kind of working on. Uh, patented at this level. This is kind of something he was working on in college as well. But um, overall, really sticky in coverage. I mean, he's step for step, in phase the entire route, um, and then, you know, really does a good job kind of shutting this the receiver down um, immediately. And he had a couple reps against uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones. I believe that's who that is at the bottom of the screen uh, that were really encouraging. But, you know, this was arguably uh, one of the biggest plays of the game that the defensive um, was able to make. Uh, this is the last drive for the Cleveland Browns. This is a got to have it moment on fourth down. They're going to shift into empty. And really, this is just a back shoulder fade ball. Uh, they're taking a chance. They see the rookie corner out there. Donovan Peoples-Jones been with the Browns for a while. Watson's going to try to, again, test the rookie. Um, and Porter really rises to the occasion right here. And I know there was some controversy on whether or not this was P.I., whatever. I don't I'm always going to lean towards the corners. Uh, I'm a little bit biased in that regard. I just think we should let these guys play a little bit more than the NFL does. But I really like this rep for several reasons. Um, you know, Porter's basically playing a little bit of a soft shoe. I guess it's kind of kick step, but uh, just does a really good job, you know, not getting moved off the line of scrimmage. You know, he's not losing too much uh losing too much ground or anything like that does a good job keeping his shoulders square and then once this receiver takes a speed release to the outside you see porter shoot his off hand right here and really he's settling into the hip of the receiver and you know he's on top he's in phase and as he's running down the sideline he's doing a really good job squeezing this guy to the sideline to eliminate the space that the quarterback has to throw the football in and then he does a really good job you know recognizing okay this is where the first down marker is the receiver's about to start looking back for the ball, especially because, you know, he doesn't beat Porter with speed over the top. He's going to start looking back for the ball. As soon as he looks, I look and just does a good job, you know, getting chest to chest right here and playing through the receiver and forcing the incompletion. So um, just a really good rep. You know, Porter's only played about 20 snaps so far this season. I know um, a lot of people are, you know, really anxious to see him in an expanded role. I think that that will really come. But, you know, one of the things I've been encouraged with is Porter has looked the part uh, when we have seen him on the field. And these are in high leverage situations. You know, when he's playing in the dime, you know, six defensive backs, you're getting passing plays every down. So these are, you know, your third down uh, situations, your two minute drills, your, you know, your got to have it situations like this. And I think for a young player, allowing him to kind of come in um, and not have to play every snap, but kind of just focus on really the more important aspects, honestly, of playing cornerback um, and the fact that he's already, you know, doing some good things out there, albeit in really limited playing time, to me is pretty encouraging. So um, I appreciate you guys. If y'all stay through the end of the video, um, just please make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And also, um, you know, what are your expectations for Joey Porter Jr. kind of moving forward? It sounds like the Steelers are kind of slow playing his development, really being really patient with him, not thrusting him into the role. Um, but, you know, if Levi Wallace in particular, or maybe even Patrick Peterson start to struggle or continue to struggle a little bit on the outside, whether it be with tackling or in coverage, um, Joy Porter Jr. may play an expanded role uh, sooner rather than later. But I appreciate you guys. I will holler at y'all next time. Peace.